Hello friends, my name is Yogendra Pal and I welcome you in this video tutorial series named Yogi's Guide to Web Development. In this video, we are going to learn how to make static websites or what do you need to learn to make static websites. Friends, from my previous videos, you have learned that there are two types of websites, static or dynamic. A static website contains all the static pages. And all the information that is written on a static web page is written by a web developer. So all information, whether it's text, video, audio, any other multimedia element will be placed by a web developer itself. And all the people accessing the same web page at the same time will see the same information. And if you want to change the information in a static web page, you need to change it manually. And in order to write that information in a static web page, you need to learn a language known as hypertext markup language or simply HTML. With the help of HTML, you can decide the content, uh, text, paragraphs, headings, tables, bullet, lists, all the information that is written on a web page is written with the help of hypertext markup language or HTML. This means if you want to make a static web page, you need to learn HTML. HTML decides the structure and the content of a web page, but it does not define its style. So a web page made using only HTML will not look beautiful. In order to change the style or theme or look and feel of a web page, you need to learn an another language that is known as CSS or cascading style sheets. So with the help of HTML and CSS, you will be able to make beautiful static websites. But if you want to add some interactivity on a web page, you can't do this with HTML and CSS only. For this, you need to learn one more programming language that is known as JavaScript or simply say JS. With the help of JavaScript, you will be able to add interactivity for example, if you want some person to click on a text to reveal the information behind it or you want to add a draggable object in your web page or you want to add a image slide so in which all the images come and go one by one. So this interactivity can be added with the help of JavaScript only. So with the help of these three programming languages, HTML, CSS and JavaScript you will be able to make interactive and beautiful static web pages. You can learn these three programming languages from my courses Yogi's Guide to HTML, Yogi's Guide to CSS and Yogi's Guide to JavaScript. And if you learn these three programming languages HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you will not only be able to create beautiful interactive websites, but you will also be able to create ebooks and applications for Android and iOS devices. After learning these three languages, you will become a good front-end developer. Front-end of a website decides how a website will look to the end user. After learning these three programming languages, you can make front-ends for dynamic websites also. So in future, if you want to make dynamic websites also, you still need to learn these three languages to make its front-end. So I hope that now you know what do you need to learn to make static websites. So I will see you in my next video in which I will tell you how to make dynamic websites or what do you need to learn to make dynamic websites. Thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.